Good morning and welcome to the Anderson Center for Hair. My name is Dr. Ken Anderson, your narrator. And for today we're going to do a long hair FUE using the Artist Robotic Hair Transplant System. And this is our patient today, Mario. He doesn't wish to have his face in the video, but what we're going to do here is we've already, he's already actually trimmed and prepped and ready to go for the Artist Robot. You wouldn't really know that. I'm going to have one of my assistants come in and we're going to go ahead and tape up his hair and get him prepared for his robotic surgery. And I'm going to show you the principles of what's called long hair FUE. Now, if you need 3,000 follicles, this is not really possible, but we're going for a smaller number than that today and so it is possible to simply tape up the hair as shown. Now we've trimmed him and this will be enough for the robot to get in there and extract these follicles. Mario had a surgery in another country actually, not at this clinic previously, a linear surgery and unfortunately, he's got a little bit of a larger scar. So today, what we're going to be doing is taking out some follicles and not only addressing the frontal hairline, we're also going to be placing some follicles into this linear scar from his previous procedure, which I believe was seven or eight years ago. So I just wanted to show the viewers how we sort of can perform robotic FUE hair restoration surgery without trimming the entire scalp. It really depends on the number of grafts needed. And if we're not, you know, trying to get thousands and thousands of follicles, this is certainly an option uh, for some of our patients because one of the major objections, of course, is that patients don't want to trim their entire scalp down because it does inconvenience some people, especially professionals. And I know Mario has business meetings next week and, you know, he wants to maintain his look. He's got a, a big, full head of hair. He's got some recession in the frontal temporal regions. And we're also going to put some hair into this scar. My name is Dr. Ken Anderson. We're here at the Anderson Center for Hair with our today's patient, Mario. I've gotten something special for you today. It's called long hair FUE. When having an artist robotic hair transplant procedure, a lot of patients are less than thrilled to have to trim down their entire scalp. Of course, it takes a few months to grow back, and you know, that's not really a whole lot for a lifetime of new permanent hair, but some patients really don't like that. So in select patients where we don't have to get 3,000 follicles, uh, and we need a smaller amount and a smaller surface area of the scalp needs to be exposed, we can simply trim a little bit of an area that's not quite as big and allow that area to, to be covered by the hair following the procedure. I'm just going to take the camera. We're going to have a look here uh, at what's going on. Hello, Mario. How are you doing? He's great. Okay. Let me turn on one of my surgical lights here. Okay, and you can see we've just exposed a little strip ear to ear, and we saw that uh, taped up previously, and now it's all nice and ready to go. And of course, we're here in my state-of-the-art surgical suite with the LED Star Troll surgical lights, large surgical monitor so my entire team can follow along with the procedure. And of course, we've got microscopic dissection stations all set up. Here is the surgeon's workstation. This is really where the robot is controlled and this is where I sit. I, I strongly feel that surgeons should be doing their own surgery and that's where I sit. This is some of the tools we use and then finally another microscopic dissection station. Okay, I'm going to hand the camera back to my assistant. And I am going to put on my mask, and we've got, 
we're going to do, we're going to get it started a little bit. We do have, of course, uh, my monogrammed latex gloves. I think, uh, you know, makes me feel special. These are, of course, it's a very tiny monogram, but they're in there. Trust me on that one. So what I'm going to do, my friends, we're going to put the, the tensioner on. This will not hurt. Take the tensioner. Come on in a little closer there. Okay, does that hurt right there? No. Okay, so we're going to take it and go ahead. And tensioner placement is very important. Critical, really. Okay. Does that hurt at all? No. Okay. So we're going to get this in place, then we place the bands. Okay. And then I'm going to check to make sure it's all nice and level. These are all a little tiny. Okay. So that's nice. That feels nice and tense in there. And uh, perhaps the viewers can see the skin over here is a little more pink and soft and can be blanched. The skin here is, is, is whiter and lighter in color. Okay. What we're going to do now is have a look at the robot arm. It's going to move and come into what we call center position. Now what I'm going to do is just simply press a button and, and bring the robot into place. Press another button and now it's going to orient itself to the tensioner. I'm going to sit down at my robot station. And so you can hear me more clearly, I'm going to take off my mask. This is the most fun part right here. So, Mario, I'm just going to do one or two to make sure that you're not feeling it and you feel good about what's going on. That's a very, we're going to just set that a little lower. Okay. Now you're gonna you're gonna hear it look and you're gonna but you won't feel it. We're gonna just do one hair to start out with. Okay. Here we go. Did that hurt? No. Okay. We're gonna do about ten in a row. Okay, that'll be enough right there. I'm gonna bring that up and we're gonna turn on the surgery lights and uh, have a look at the uh, at the graphs we're getting. Come on in here, buddy. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Now, let's have a look at this graph. We'll put it right there and get it moist. That there is a gorgeous three hair graft. I'm not sure if you can appreciate all three hairs in there. But this is the kind of, you getting that nice? Oops, sir. So yeah, this, that, that's, uh, that's what you get. There'll be no linear scar created. I know we saw one earlier from a previous procedure, but we're going to get all the hairs today without making any more linear scarring. He's going to be able to wear his hair down over the operated on area and, uh, and go about his business meetings uh, with very little to no evidence that a surgery has occurred today. My name is Dr. Ken Anderson, and this has been a presentation from the Anderson Center for Hair. Thank you very much for watching.